what is going on everyone so the Android keyboard has leaked on the net um, through various sources and <clears throat> it, it might not seem like a lot to install it but what Google has actually done with the Android 4.2 keyboard is that they implemented um, swipe features into the stock keyboard so you have regular Android keyboard with swipe features if you're not sure what that means and you want a demo of the keyboard in action um, you can find a video link to that video in the description below or I'll include an annotation link at the end of this video. It's, it's a pretty neat addition uh, because I use swipe and is a much much faster method of uh, typing on uh, Android device. But for now I'm teaching you guys how to install it so let's do that. So there are two methods to getting this up and running and there are actually conditions on that. If you're running a Nexus device or an Android open source project ROM like CyanogenMod 9 or CyanogenMod 10 for example you you must use the difficult method of installing it okay you can't just do it the easy way so if you want if you're running a nexus device or an android open source project rom you can fast forward the video which you can find an annotation link down here and you must follow those instructions for other people that are running something like say this is samsung galaxy s2 so as you can see uh... it has a touch with android overlay um, if you're running an HTC device with HTC Sense, uh, I think Motorola devices have Motorola Blur or something like that. If you're running the stock uh, ROM that comes with your phone, like I said, like TouchWiz or HTC Sense, you can do it the easy way. There's no mod modding your device at all. Uh, it's really simple. And the other condition for no matter which installation method you're using is that your phone must be running Android 4.0 or newer. Okay? So I'm going to start with the easy method first. Uh, what you basically need to do is go to this page. I'll have a link to this page in the description below. Uh, for those of you that are going to use the easy method, all you do is click the APK link, hit download. Um, from here, they it, it'll start downloading as you can see. Um, you're just going to simply plug in your phone into your computer. You know, very simple. Just plug in USB cord on, in your phone and the other end into your computer. Copy and paste it to anywhere in your directory, and uh, you're done. Now you must install, um, you're basically installing it as an unknown app source, so what you're going to do is go to your phone system settings, go to, where are you, security, go down to unknown sources, unknown sources must be checkmarked, okay, you're going to get this prompt warning, press OK, then I suggest you get an app like uh, APK Manager, which is right here, I will put an app uh, link for Google Play to APK Manager in the description below as well. So when you, when you install APK Manager from Google Play, open it up. Once you have the uh, keyboard app copied to your um, phone hard drive, then you're going to hit install. And you should see something like this. This is what the Android keyboard is. Click on it. Hit install. Let it do its thing. Hit done. But we're not done yet. You can't just use the keyboard right away. So to activate the keyboard now, all you have to do is go to your phone system settings, uh, language and input, and you can see something like Android Keyboard English USA, check mark it, press OK, then go to an app that takes text input, uh, any app will do, I'll use Chrome Beta for this example, um, let's open up a oh, new tab, OK, then tap in the text field, uh, I know the camera's really blurry, uh, I apologize about that. But what you're going to do now is go to your notification uh, drop down because when you select the text area, you'll see this um, input option. Select English US Android keyboard. Okay, so now you see the stock Android keyboard, right? Uh, hello? As you can see, you can just type normally. Now, but you can also do this. Hello? Oh, but I did help line. <laughs> no worries, but you, you get the idea. It's up and running, and that's pretty much how to do that. Okay, so if you're like me, you must use the uh, modded method um, because my Samsung Galaxy S2 is running CyanogenMod 10. Uh, the other Galaxy S2 I showed you was my cousin's, that's why he didn't have to do the modded method. So basically, what you need to do is go to this uh, website. This page will be, uh, there will be a link to it in the description below. Click somewhere in the open space on, on the zip. You're going to see a whole bunch of files pop up. Uh, just ignore these. Do not download them individually. Instead, go to File and then download. It'll download the entire zip file. What you do is uh, copy and paste it to your phone hard drive or internal space or whatever. I do recommend you, you uh, copy and paste it to your internal phone storage. Um, to do that, just simply plug in the USB cord from uh, your computer into the phone, copy and paste the zip file, 
into the root directory. And then you, you must have uh, root and Clockwork Mod Recovery installed also. And furthermore, at this point, uh, you could permanently damage your device should something go wrong. So if that is the case, I take no responsibility. You'll be doing this at your own risk, okay? So now that all those warnings and boring stuff is over with, what you're going to do is boot your phone into recovery. Please don't ask me how to do that because there are hundreds of Android devices out there. Booting into recovery is always different. If you're not sure if you have it or not, I can't help you, sorry, okay? So in recovery, uh, I know the camera's not focusing well, but I'll read everything out loud. What you do is install zip from SD card. Select it. Uh, because I put it in the internal memory of my phone, I'm going to go down to choose zip from internal SD card. Now what you're going to do is you're going to see a whole bunch of directories. This is your internal memory. Uh, navigate to the bottom and you're going to look for Android42 underscore keyboard underscore sign dot zip. Uh, you're going to press and select that. Scroll all the way down to yes. It'll install the zip. It'll flash it. And uh, okay, at this point, you're going to go down to go back, then select reboot system now, and we'll continue from there. Okay, so once your phone has uh, restarted, what you need to do is go to phone system settings, um, language and input. And for me, I have two Android keyboards. It's really dark, you can't see right now, but uh, both of them are already checkmarked, and they should be checkmarked. Uh, I believe. The one here that says AOS, I, I don't think it's that one, it should be the normal Android keyboard, but uh, have them both checkmarked just in case. Then go to any app that requires uh, text input. So I'm going to go to Google Chrome for example, go in the search bar, and when you when you tap in it, you're going to see the small keyboard uh, notification icon, drag down on your notifications, choose input method, and you're going to choose regular English USA Android keyboard. Okay, once that's selected. Uh, you're going to get the stock Android keyboard, and as you can see, uh, I can type normally. Hello. Um, but of course, you can swipe. Hello. Okay, so uh, that's all there is to it. If you want a, a better demonstration video, just uh, wait for the annotation link at the ending, or click the link in the description below. Uh, if you found this video useful, check out my website in the description below. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.